Hello and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are going to discuss as to how to assign direction to undirected edges of an acyclic graph containing both directed and undirected edges such that the graph remains acyclic. So now let's look at the problem statement. So the problem statement says that we are given an acyclic graph with both directed and undirected edges. And what we have to do is assign direction to the undirected edges such that the graph still remains acyclic. That means we have been given a graph which has both directed and undirected edges. But if we consider the graph with just the directed edges, it's an acyclic graph. So what we have to do is we have to assign direction to the remaining undirected edges such that the graph remains acyclic. So for example, if you look at this given graph, you will see that it has many directed edges such that this one, this one, this one, this one. And you will notice that these, uh, these directed edges form an acyclic graph. It also has these three undirected edges. Now what we have to do is we have to give some direction to the undirected edges such that the final resultant graph still remains acyclic. So like over here we give these three edges these three direction so and it still remained acyclic. So that's our final goal. So now that we have a firm understanding of what we have to do, let's look at how to do it. So it's a two step solution. In the first step we perform topological sorting on the graph considering just the directed edges. And in this second step for every undirected edge whose direction we have to assign, we pick up both the nodes on both the sides of the undirected edge and assign direction from the node appearing before to the node appearing after in the topological sort of the directed graph. So uh, we take up an undirected edge whose direction we have to uh, assign and then we pick up both the nodes on both the sides of the undirected edge and then we give assign it the direction from the side of the node which appears before in the topological sort which we had performed in the first step to the node side of the node which appears after in the same topological sort. So that's the basic solution of the uh, problem. So now you guys might be thinking that we know the solution. What's the logic behind the solution? So before understanding the logic behind the solution, first of all, let's look at the basic principle of topical, topological sort, which is that all the node which appears after some node in topological sort have absolutely no path from them to any node appearing before them in the topological sort. So if I need a cyclic graph, what I have to do is I have to just link my current node with itself and currently all the path from my current node are to some of the uh, nodes which lie ahead of it in the topological sort. So if I have to make my graph cyclic, what I have to do is I have to link this node to which my current node is connected to a node which is behind the current node which links to the current node or the current node itself which basically is a violation of topological sort as that would create a path from a node ahead in the topological sort to a node which is behind in the topological sort. So if I have to avoid the possibility of my graph becoming cyclic what I have to do is I have to link like I have to stop violating any uh, all any basic principle of the topological sort and continue linking all the nodes to all the nodes ahead of them in the topological sorting and we are set. <laughs> so now that we have seen the solution, let's do a dry run of the solution. Let's take the same graph which we had seen before where we have three undirected edges 0 to 2, 0 to 3 and 0 to 4 to 5. Let's write them down 0 to 2, 0 to 3 and 4 to 5. So if we do perform the first step that is topological sorting of this given graph considering just the directed edges, we will get this order 
which is uh, 0 5 1 2 3 4 so now we'll go to the st second step that is we will take both the nodes of both the sides of the undirected graph and then we will check which node appears before in the topological sort since 0 appears before 2 in the topological sorting order so we will assign the direction to this undirected edge from 0 to 2 similarly we will take 0 and 3 since 0 appears before 3 in the topological sorting order so we will assign the direction from 0 to 3 to this given graph edge, undirected graph edge and since over here we have 4 and 5 since 5 appears before 4 in the topological sorting order so we will assign the direction from 5 to 4 to the uh, to the undirected edge so this is how it will look like after adding direction to the undirected edge and this is the final graph so that's all uh, thank you for watching please leave your comments and uh, please visit geeks for geeks again have a nice day. Thank you. Bye.